वेलकम एवरी वन वेलकम टू फिजिक्स बाई आर एन आई एम आर एन मेहरा एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट एग्जाम्स विच आर वेरी क्लोज टू माई हार्ट दैट इज टी आई एफ आर एंड जस्ट एग्जाम आई हैव पर्सनली स्पेंड सो मच टाइम इन एनालाइजिंग दिस एग्जाम्स इन लास्ट थ्री ईयर्स एंड आई हैव गॉट अ गुड गुड इन साइट अबाउट दिस एग्जाम्स ना बोथ दिस एग्जाम्स are very similar i found these exams very similar to each other that is why i am covering them in one session because these two exams cannot be di discussed separately and if you are preparing for tifr then you must also be preparing for jest and if you are preparing for jest then your preparation for tifr will automatically be done so people who do not know me uh, i am aran mehra i have done my msc physics from iit delhi and my jest rank was also 87 along with my jest i have also got admission in tif for hyderabad two times so once once in integrated phd and once in phd itself i have given all just two times once my rank was 87 and one time my rank was 132 i have qualified tif for once and other time in second time i got into tif for based on my jest rank itself so the, after my msc i did my phd degree from i am not completed but i joined the phd degree in iisc uh, in nano science department and after one year of doing my phd i realized that i love teaching so i moved and joined a coaching institute and became a jai advanced faculty so now i am teaching more than 300 students every day so let's begin today's session let's grind this session so in this session again i will be covering three questions why what and how but now let's come to why very quickly so why just in tifr let me be very honest if you want to study in india's most premier institutions which are meant only for research whose sole purpose is research for example tifr for example iisc for example isers then both these exams are very useful and the most important exams because getting an admission in integrated phd or phd so let's say you are a bsc student and you are thinking about making your career in research by the way i will be talking why you should make a career in research but let's say you want to make a career in research and then you can join an integrated phd course what is integrated phd course you get an admission in a degree you also get a msc degree as well as you get a phd degree all together so it is a six year course and fully paid course so throughout your journey you will be getting paid even in your msc you will be paid and in some institutions this amount is 10000 in some institutions it is 20000 but once you are promoted to phd your salary will be 37000 and after 2 years of your phd your salary will be become 42000 this is monthly salary so this will be this salary will be able to make sure that all your expenses are covered and you are doing a good quality of research now if you are a, you have already done msc then you can directly join phd in any of the top institutions now let me be very honest and tell you about the afr iisc and isers the quality of research and research facilities which are there is brilliant is exceptional for example in tifr if we talk about there is a instrument for each and every thing which you want to do in a research for example cold atom technology you can cool the atoms almost up to 0 degree you can use high power laser you can do brilliant nanotechnology brilliant electron tunneling microscopy scanning scanning tunneling microscopy each and every instrument which i have named is more than 3 crores 2 crores 4 crores worth and if you are in such institutions you can directly use this institution these instruments they are not to look at they are there to use so this will give you a very nice and excellent hands on training on these tools and you will be getting a results which will become a technology in future so you will be doing latest cutting edge research because these institutes and are involved in projects which are famous throughout the world so these projects are 
from many private companies these projects are from government of india these projects are from drdo isro barc different sort of indian organizations foreign organizations all these projects are here in these universities so you will be directly involved in one of these projects and you will be working on a latest research which is going on in the field of physics now second thing i want to mention here is in the institutions which i am mentioning right now the people who are working here the professors they are so brilliant i would say that they have done de their degrees from a top colleges or top universities of the world after doing those degrees they have spent so many years in research their papers are read throughout the world so they have a very big name in the field of research of physics and you will be directly involved with those professors and after your phd if that professor it is not a if and but question they will direct definitely write you a recommendation so if those professors after your phd write you a recommendation you will get a postdoc position which is a very highly sal paid salary position in top institutes like mit stanford ivy league colleges okay these kind of us and german colleges so you will be getting a very highly paid postdoc positions after these doing phds from these not just postdoc positions there are many private sector companies for example lamb research applied materials so many material science engineering companies so many lasers technology companies optical engineering companies these companies are directly coming to for example iisc they are coming they also have some connections with tifr also you can apply to them outside the campus and get a job in them so these are highly technological based jobs not just private companies but even the government sector companies for example many people become a bark scientist even after phd so you can become a barc scientist even at a higher level after phd you can become a drdo scientist at a even at a higher level after phd you can become a csr lab uh, scientist you can become a scientist even in isro one of my uh, senior in iisc became a scientist coming from nanotechnology department in isro so all these government institutions they they need scientists the chances that you will get a job is better if you have phd rather than if you only have msc because for msc only two jobs are available either at barc or isro so once your phd is done even the chances for government job is more the chances for private sector jobs is more and it is for sure that you will be joining a very excellent postdoc position abroad with a good salary and once two or three years of experience or postdoc is covered then you can directly come to india or stay there and become a faculty member in top indian institute like iits nits or let's say in any of the isers then you can directly become faculty member so this is how the tifr people moves or how iisc people moves in their career this is a career which needs very high patience but along with the patience you will get results you will get a, a good good citations good papers good skills each and every day so every day every month can be rewarding for you but again it will take some years to actually finally got settled but you never want to get settled because you are in such a premier quality people who are doing work on a you know, actual life problems which a science can solve okay so that is how why you should do phd because it can make you see anyone can do a jobs which a data scientist is doing many people say become data scientist become data scientist your salary will be good yes salary maybe in the beginning will be good but let's see in the long term when once you are at age of 30 now who is earning more a person with a job who's even artificial intelligence can do or a person who knows how to handle these instruments or who has such a high research skills and whose jobs no one no other person can do there are hardly 10 to 20 people who can do the stuff which you will be learning in tifr or iisc or iser so what you will be learning not more than 20 people in india can do that so that is a quality of the expertise you are going to get 
and that is always going to pay you in the longer term in the longer range so any question on why phd or why jest and why tfi if you have any question please let me know also i feel it is a kind of a respect and the quality of life in these institutes is also very good you are a you are leading a calm peaceful life and you are doing physics which you really like to do so that kind of quality of life also i enjoyed especially in iisc and in ti for also it is very nice so phd is never a bad decision i think phd is always a very good decision if your phd degree is from good college yeah any any question so far also i i would like to uh, if if you guys can yeah so one question is there let me see if having low bsc grades affect my chances of getting tifr even after having a no they really don't even see your marks many times they do not release marks to the interviewers so what happen is interviewer which is interviewing you is getting a blank envelope about you that these are your details most of the times this happens sometimes they also have your bsc details but many times they don't even have that so you will be getting a direct, you will be getting interview marks and based on your interview marks only and your rank only you will be getting an admission in these institutes your bsc marks will hardly matter yeah anything else also guys please mention in the comments or in the chat why you want to give a jest and ti for exam so so i can also read what are your views on this one more reason why you should be preparing for jest and ti for even if you do not want to get into uh, let's say uh, phd or integrated phd but you are trying to get a good result in iit jam or let's say you are trying to get a good result in gate then doing a preparation of tifr and jest exam is extremely helpful extremely helpful you should always do the preparation for tifr and jest because this is a very nice syllabus very good set of pyqs are there okay yeah any question okay so if not let's move on to the next part of the uh, preparation so once we know that why we should do uh, the jest and tifr preparation now the question is what is jest and what is tif so now jest exam happens usually in march sometimes it also happens in april but it will most probably happen in march jest exam is a 3 hour exam in which you will have 50 questions so 3 3 um, hours 50 questions and from the last year itself they have made the exam 300 marks and it is an online exam so there are going to be only 50 questions and you are going to have 3 hours so more than 3 minutes for each question too much time is there in jest exam first 25 questions will be mcq these will be simple mcq not very tough to handle mcqs and each mcq will give you 3 marks so total marks for this section is 75 and if you get any question wrong you will get minus 1 by 3 the second part of the exam or jest exam is again mcq there are going to be 15 mcq but these mcqs will be hard they are not going to be straight forward they are they will need long calculations they will have many steps in their solutions at least 7 8 steps will be there in a solution and then only you will be able to reach to the final answer so each question will be 9 marks so 9 uh, marks question 9 mark for each uh, question total 135 marks and if you get this wrong then you will get so here i think it is not 1 by 3 it is 33% okay so it 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 here means 33% so out of 3 you will get 33 wrong so it will be minus 1 so out of 9 if you get wrong you will get minus 3 so 33% will be gone so let me very quickly fix this so that you, there is no confusion at all so it is 33% so it will be minus 1 here and minus 3 here okay 
so no confusion at all and then part c part c will have 10 questions which are nat nat you all know it it means that you have to write an answer and it will also be 9 marks so total 90 marks for this and there will be no negative mark so if you add all these marks it will be 300 marks and if you get let's say around you can say more than 30% marks or let's say 35% marks so somewhere around 100 to 150 marks if you get in this exam 100 to 120 marks then i feel that your chances to get into top premier institutes like tifr iisc is very good if you score 120 marks only out of 300 marks which is almost 40% and paper is of medium level i'm again saying paper should be of medium level then you will definitely get into tifr and iis but let's say paper is very easy then you should have at least try for 150 marks so if paper is easy then 150 if the paper is moderate 130 will work or 120 will work so that is how easy the just exam is you only have because just exam do not have a lot of competition so it is an easiest ticket to the top premier institutes of india is the easiest ticket so you should definitely give just exam every person should definitely give just even if you are not prepared then the second exam which is tifr exam this usually happens in december so the major problem in this exam is time is less because it happens in december so you do not get too much time to prepare for this exam this exam only has two sections only 40 questions part a 25 and part b 15 all mcq part a will have three mark questions and part b will have five mark questions both sections are 75 75 marks in part a there is a negative marking in part b there is no negative mark so five mark questions have no negative mark so you should definitely try all of them but the total marks is 150 again let me correct this sorry for this so total marks is 150 here and you will get 3 hours again this is also an online exam now in tifr what i want to mention here is question levels i want to really discuss about question levels in these exams now this kind of analysis i am very much sure about this because i have given these exams so many times and i have seen the same analysis 30% questions i found are directly from the books or if you have read good enough books or the notes which are written based on the good books then the questions are going to be directly from there i have always found direct questions which are asked from the books 30% of them but those questions are hidden there are going to be so many difficult questions in between that you are not going to identify which questions is easy or which questions are based on the basic question okay anyone has anything to say someone is unmuting themselves okay so that is my analysis now th the main idea the person who qualifies this exam is the one who can actually identify what are these 30% questions that person will actually be able to get a good rank in this exam remember this i got my just results very excellent results by scoring very less marks in exam why because i only attempted those questions which i thought are easy and i can do that i did not try to solve each and every question in this exam because that is not possible that is not possible even for teachers so whenever you practice or prepare for this exam always remember you have to pick out the easy questions which you can solve which are directly from the book i am going to give you the topics from where i can give you in written that questions will come last year i i made a free just a course uh, in which i only taught 15 questions only 15 topics and out of 15 topics all question from all the 15 topics were there in the exam all those 15 topics were there in exam so other 25% questions are from pyq 95% of people do not complete pyq why let me tell you why because there are no good solutions available for jest and tif the solutions which are available are very bad they are not detailed 
they do not cover the concept at the level at which students understand if you have ever tried to solve jest or pyq uh, tfr paper you will know what i am talking about you if you agree you can let me know in the chat but you will be agreeing that yes the question level is difficult and we did not get enough solutions so that we can actually study them so if you can actually complete all the pyqs all the pyqs of jest and tfr 25% of the questions are going to be repeated and you can come to me in the exam next year and i will actually show you the 25% questions that okay this question is repeated from this topic and this question has been repeated from this topic i can actually show you because i have analyzed the last at least 12 years of papers then the ne next 45% of the paper is going to be new very much new and challenging as well they put a very different questions every year every year in just and tfr we see a good quality of new physics problems coming up and in the exams those problems are to distract you those problems are not there to get solved no one can solve those problems in exam itself because those are really challenging problems you can solve them afterwards but never try to solve these problems in actual exam because they are not going to give you good marks they are only going to waste your time so you have to see this exam from the point of view of the rank not from the point of view that you have to solve all the questions out of those 45 even if you are able to solve three or four questions that is going to be enough that's it don't try to be over smart in there because their questions are very nice you just have to pick the right questions and solve them okay and last thing which i would say is tfr questions are much greater level and much in depth questions than just just still i think is a easy exam but tfr i think hats off to them they put a very brilliant paper every year they are like the true physics institute which knows what kind of questions can be asked long questions they are like a jai advanced for bsc students okay so jai advanced is for like uh, your class 12 so gti for exam is like jai advanced for bsc and msc students if you can do these questions then your knowledge is really in depth okay so let's move to next point any questions still here anyone has any question they can uh, shoot the question how many people apply for just exam every year and how many do apply for tf not they, many people apply but the people who actually give the exam is not more than 7 8000 seven to 8000 that's it okay so many people apply applications is more how to solve pyq i will let you know how to solve i am coming to that point that how to solve okay so i i will explain that now the next part of my talk is must do topics and if you really trust me then take a screenshot of this and just stick that on your wall because these questions are going to come in the next exam i can give you guarantee this questions will be there in the exam from these topics so there are five topics in maths one question 100% probability one question 100% complex analysis one or two definitely from vector calculus one definitely will come from matrices and one will definitely be there from ordinary differential equations these five questions or six questions will definitely be there in the tifr and just exam then mechanics two to three basic mechanics questions one to two lagrangian questions one question from hamiltonian or let's say canonical transformations and one or two questions from central forces these four topics definitely give you 5 to 6 questions electromagnetism electrostatics all the electric field flux uh, potential everything which is covered is in electrostatic then image problem magnetostatics magnetic field biot severs law ampere circuit law bind boundary conditions and in the last em waves so these four topics alone will give you 7 to 8 questions or even more than that just these four chapters these are like four chapters of dj griffiths book just four chapters will give you eight to nine questions 
these four chapters are like four chapters of jc upadhyay book i am going to come to the books four chapters at least six questions five chapters at least six seven questions then quantum mechanics basic quantum mechanics quantum mechanics in 1d quantum mechanics in 3d these three topics combined will give you more than seven questions even more than seven questions directly come from these three chapters itself stat mac and thermo there are so many things to study but if you study thermodynamics thermodynamic laws carnot cycle and entropy that is enough if you study canonical ensemble in great detail enough and if you study black body radiations enough these three topics again seven to eight questions at least electronics semiconductor physics fermi energy diagram uh, then all that information about the band band gaps and everything semiconductor physics transistors opamp and digital electronics these four topics will again give you more than six to seven questions so these are the must come questions in T your tifr and just exam and nothing more comes out of these topics there are only six subjects in tifr and just more or less there are some other topics like also optics also is there but those questions those are also there i am not saying those are not there but i am talking about most important topics here so these are the list of the most important topics okay so some people have put up the question so are there any different ranks in just for m yes so as you know just exam is conducted both for msc student and bsc student so both of those people give get the same paper so bsc student also get the same paper msc student also get the same paper but the ranking is different for both of them so two different list of ranks come one for bsc and one for msc okay any other question till here let me complete this so you can take a screenshot of this as well all the top subjects i mentioned you can see the important books these are the enough books and mo the most relevant books for your exams so you can just take a screenshot of this uh, i will not going to dictate this this is very simple process you can actually see for maths which book is there for mechanics which is there i would say the pdf of all these books are available you can see our telegram channel all these books have been sent to that telegram channel and these books are enough so i have mentioned all the physics subjects so whatever physics subject you want to study you can study from these books so before i move to the next part of my talk do you have any questions here so these the recording of this session is being uploaded on youtube you can join my telegram channel you or you can directly see the on youtube so telegram channel name is physics by aryan physics by aryan so you can directly join the channel or you can go to physicsbyaryan.com and then there you can actually see the link to telegram channel how merial boss for see i there are many so many other books are out there if you have if you have some other book in mind you can study that but i personally found these two books very good merial boss is some something i found is derivative kind of book ajoy gatak for waves is good or bad sir not very good because things are not written very clearly ajoy gatak book is good book but uh, not very clearly the things are written so it is hard to study by yourself anything else so let me come to the schedule so six months are left for tifr what should be the strategy to cover up in this six months can we if we start today that is a one question which a student gets if i only study start studying from now can i qualify the exam in next six months and i am an average student what should be the schedule this is a schedule which i am going to follow in my course and you can also follow the schedule if you are preparing on your own number one thing first 15 days should go to the foundations of physics there are so many basic physics concept that you need to know before actually starting your preparation for example dirac delta function for example spherical and cylindrical polar coordinates for example basic trigonometry integration for example taylor series jacobian basic mechanics rotational motion 
kinematics, work power energy, so on and so forth. So if you study these things in first 15 days, your basics will be very good and then you will have even better understanding of the slips. Okay, I am making this first 15 days free for everyone. So you can just go to my website, physicsbyrn.com. You can enroll in free purview of JEST and TIFR course. You will find that there is a JEST and TIFR course. You can take a free purview of that course. For first 15 days, you will get this foundation physics free of course. All the notes, all the quizzes, all the lectures, everything. I will make your basics strong so that you get a, you can do a very good preparation of just and TF. Afterwards, 20 days for math, mathematical physics. 20 days are enough for math to cover all the concepts. 20 days for mechanics is enough. Then another 20 days for electromagnetism. Then 20 days for thermodynamics and stat mech. Other 20 days for electronics then 20 days for quantum and in the end oscillations, waves and optics, because many questions are also coming from optics in TIFR exam. After this, your TIFR exam will be there. So roughly on 11th December, if you do all these things, if your exam happens, let's say one week before. So what I will be doing is I will be covering syllabus little one week before, but let's say we are saying it is after 11th December. So this can be the schedule, but let's say exam happens little early. So we can also cover the syllabus one week before. Till the TFR exam, all the syllabus that you need will be covered in by not just pressurizing by doing things slowly in 20, 20 days, one subject, and you can do it. You will ask what's what about revision, sir? So revision should be in between. There is no specific time for revision that you can give, do one month only for revision. You should be doing revision in between only. And I have a proper plan for that, that how you can do a revision in between itself. So this should be your schedule. In this way, your brain will get, you will do a good, good amount of time for all the subjects and you can actually score good, good marks. You can do PYQs, you can do quizzes and everything. There is a time for everything. And if you are a MSc student, then you should start preparing for after your TIFR exam, solid state physics, atomic physics, and nuclear physics, because then these subjects are asked in gate. So if you are a gate student, then, then you should start preparing for these three subjects after the exam, after your TIFR exam is done. And once your gate is done or your jam is done, the people who are in BSc, rather than doing solid state, atomic, and nuclear. You can only do solid state and then you can start your revising your IIT jam syllabus. So once your IIT jam and gate exam is over, then you start revising the entire syllabus for just, and then what you, when you will go to just, you will go with the multiple revisions and you will score a very good rank. Okay. Any, any questions in the schedule or anything? Some people have put up some questions. So Kleppner and Colin Co. I do not think Kleppner and Colin Co. is a very good book. I, I really hate that book. Unnecessary book for Indian competitive exams. Sir, how to make a balance between BSc and entrance exam preparation? I will come to this point. I will be definitely coming to this point. Any other question, anyone? Okay, so now I want to go to steps of the preparation and I will be liking, I will like to mention some things about my course as well. So after and after doing four to five months of hard work, I have solved all the problems which an Indian student faces or a physics student faces while preparing for any of the entrance exam. So I have solved each and every problem. Number one problem is lectures. There are videos like NPTEL, YouTube, but those lectures are long. Those lectures are in very tough language and those language, those lectures do not cover the syllabus directly. So what I have done is I have made a schedule. You can actually go to the website, go to the course or telegram channel, and you can see the entire lecture schedule, which I'm going to give. So in my schedule, there are, you only have to do 10 lectures every week, just 10 lectures every week. Each lecture is of 40 to 50 minutes and there are 220 lectures in total. In 220 lectures, your entire TIFR and JEST syllabus will be covered. 
entire syllabus with whatever you need is covered not only tfr and just but your jam and with another 100 lectures if you also do more 100 lectures then your gate and net syllabus will also be covered so it this this is very useful for both bsc and msc students in 220 lectures i am going to cover all the tfr and just syllabus then after that there is notes so books are there definitely emt book is there definitely quantum quantum mechanics dj griffiths is there but how do you study that what are the information what is the most vital points that you need from those books because if you start studying all those books from very beginning it will take more time than you need so i have used these books to make the notes of my own these are printed notes and inside these notes along with the theory of the book i have also added many solved examples so many solved examples whenever i teach any topic i but whenever i have written any topic in my notes there are at least 10 to 15 solved problems so that you can get a practice of every formula this is one of the major problem i faced during my preparation that whenever i used to study i did not had the questions which are only of that topic so that i can actually get a practice and i can understand how to use this formula but in my notes you will get examples after every topic and then in the end you will get a solved oh sorry unsolved back exercise so there is a back exercise in every chapter there are more than 60 notes such notes in which i am covering each and every topic of your tifr and just syllabus i can guarantee that no institute has such quality of notes because not even a single topic is outside of your syllabus and if you read those notes not just your exams but your interview preparation will also be done at the same time after the notes so first step is watching the lecture second step is reading the notes third step is pyqs so someone was asking how to do the pyqs i also had the same problem so what i did is i divided all the previous year questions into topic wise so let's say you cover a topic of vector algebra now you will get a topic wise pyq of vector algebra in which one test will be vector algebra tifr other is vector algebra just so you can just solve the questions of vector algebra and vector calculus in the quiz form not in the pdf form but in the quiz format so once you go to our app and website you can actually see these quizzes pyq quizzes i am giving this name as pyq quizzes and all the solutions of these quizzes i have made those solutions so that student can understand students can actually understand those concepts those solutions so topic wise your pyq will keep on getting done you don't have to wait uh, you don't have to see the pdfs or you don't have to see the entire paper you only have to see the questions of the topic which you have studied and topic wise your pyqs will keep on getting done and your all the pyqs will be done before the exam so that is one of the major problem on which i focused and i solved this problem all the tests are ready there are more than 55 topic wise tests of pyqs so after you complete your pyqs the next thing is quizzing yourself testing yourself so i have made topic wise quizzes also so for each topic there is a quiz and these quizzes have really challenging problems they also have basic problems they also have intermediate problems and they also have challenging problems these these problems will actually help you and these problems are actually relevant for the actual exam that how your actual exam is going to come so you can see in every quiz there is 20 questions 10 questions are mcq 10 are msq 5 are nat so in this way you are doing overall practice these will help you in gate net jam just all the exams there are 80 such quizzes which i have made and there are 1600 very challenging and very good quality of questions which will make these are like your net practice before your actual match which is your exam so this will be a very good practice for you even if you do not if if you have a, coming from an average background after reading notes and doing pyq questions 
you will be able to solve these topic wise quizzes and if you are not able to solve all the questions are completely solved so it's so solutions of every question is available that will definitely help you in getting a very good practice so after you complete a topic quiz the next thing comes is doubts it is not important that everything you read a solution you will get a, a understanding of that whatever you read you will understand that there are going to be many doubts that are going to come on your way so every sunday i will take a doubt class every batch will have a dedicated schedule for their doubt class on every sunday so every sunday we will meet live we will take lectures with each other i will take your live lecture and i will solve all your doubts how you will send the doubts very easy process throughout the week you can send your doubts in a dedicated interactive telegram channel so i will make a separate telegram group for those people who are in my course they can send their doubt questions whenever they have some doubt just take a screenshot and send it in the group on sunday i will be taking all the doubts which are sent in the group and also any additional doubts that you have on that day so that every week your doubts get covered there should be no doubt which should remain pending after your doubts are done the last and the foremost thing left is test series so just before going to the exam one month before exam or let's say two months before exam you can start practicing full length tests now i have made five full length test for tifr and jest those tests are fully solved those tests have a quality of questions which are not available anywhere else those questions are taken from many sources for example phd exams in other countries wherever i saw that questions are directly and looking like just like tifr exam i have tried to put this question the questions which are like just exam i have put those questions in those tests so these tests will give you an actual actual practice that how you your concepts are and how you can actually are going to score in an actual exam and where is the point there where you need to focus more so that kind of practice when you do then your rank is almost sure before making this course i did a lot of work and i found that that what are the major areas where my course should help the students it is not like anything that you one day you start teaching this is a completely fully analyzed base on my own experience and my students experience these are the six steps of the preparation even if you do not take the course or whatever these are the six steps that you should be following you should watch some good lectures then do some good reading then solve pyqs then do quizzes and in the end get your doubts clear and then in just before going the exam do some good test series these are the six steps or the six vital steps for any exam preparation you cannot qualify exam by missing any of these six steps so you can but your rank will be not good you if you really looking for under 50 under 100 ranks then this is a quality of thing that you need so with this i will say i have started the enrollment in my course i am starting my course from 1 july but you can join this course any time whenever you join this course you will get all the content and the personalized plan that how you can cover the syllabus from the point where you joined the course let's say you join in october so how you can use this course in the remaining period but i would recommend you from 1 july i am beginning so you can join now and from 1 july do a regular preparation so that in next 6 months you can get a very good rank in tifr and then in jest if you want a free demo you can go to my website which is www.physicsbyrn.com or you can download my app i have launched the new app physics by rn now once you go into this website and uh, uh, app you can do the free preview first 15 days is free for everyone so you can do foundation physics completely free and then if you would like the content you should actually see by yourself if you if you like the content you can actually uh do the prepare uh, you can actually do the you can purchase the course otherwise you cannot it's your choice theek hai now i want to announce two two courses one course is just and tifr theek hai and other is all exams 
so one is just an tifr course just an tifr course is only 299 and all exams is 399 so i have kept the fees very very low so that everyone can afford this no one is giving out that many features at this low price if someone is giving let me know so if you only want just an tifr course that is only 3000 rupees you can purchase it on our website by after taking the demo sessions and if you want all exams let's say you want csr net gate just and um, uh, your net gate just and tifr and you are an msc student then that course is 4000 and if you are a bsc student and you want jam just and tifr all three exams then that course is also 4000 so low fees and all the features that you need are there after this course you will not be needing anything additional everything that you need for per your preparation has been added in the course now i am completely open for your questions and i am done with my talk let's have uh, your questions now all about the exam and everything